Well, fans, here we go. From Barclay Center in Brooklyn, New York, we are ready as Premier Boxing Champions presents the official weigh-in for the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing in a catchweight 144-pound special attraction. And it's all brought to you by Mayweather Promotions, Debella Entertainment, TGB Promotions, and Showtime, sponsored by Corona, who invites you to find your beach and Casa Noble Tequila, the noble pursuit. At this time, we welcome our fighters to the stage. First, ladies and gentlemen, from Las Vegas, Nevada. He is the WBC and WBA number three ranked welterweight in the world. Please welcome the former two division world champion, boxing's pride of Las Vegas, Jesse Vargas. And we invite his opponent to the stage at this time, known around the world from Cincinnati, Ohio. He is the WBC number four ranked super lightweight world contender. Please welcome the former four division world champion, Adrian, the problem Broner. And the fighters are almost ready to step onto the scale. We invite them at this time to do so. Once again, 144 pound catch weight limit on this fight. First, we invite to the scale a young veteran of five world title appearances. He is the former two weight division world champion, once again known as the pride of Las Vegas, Jesse Vargas. One hundred forty-three and three-quarter pounds. One forty-three and three-quarter pounds for Jesse Vargas. And now, ladies and gentlemen, onto the scale with seven knockouts in his nine world title appearances. Here is the colorful former four-division world champion, Adrian the Problem Broner. One forty-four point two. We have one forty-four point two pounds. One forty-four point two pounds for Adrian Broner. So the weight limit on this fight is 144 pounds. Adrian Broner slightly over, 0.2 pounds over. He's going to try again. Hold up a towel, remove his shorts, see if he makes that 144 pound weight limit. One hundred forty-four pounds for Adrian Broner. The fight is on. And the fighters are ready to face off. Adrian, the problem, Broner, Jesse Vargas, 144 pound catch weight fight. Facing off now for the final time before they meet each other tomorrow night, the main event on Showtime. Jesse Vargas, when you saw that you made weight, you smiled and you did a fist pump. So were you relieved? Were you expecting maybe you wouldn't make weight? No, never. Um, I've never missed weight, and this wasn't going to be any different. Uh, we just, I mean, 
I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, and the minute that I saw I hit 144, or 143, 143.8, I was excited because now I could, you know, rehydrate, and I'm looking forward to this fight. I mean, uh, all the workload, all the hard work is done. Now all I got to do is have fun Saturday night, enjoy myself, entertain my fans, and it's going to be a lovely night. Fighting Adrian Turner isn't quite like fighting anybody else, at least until the fight. How have you handled the distractions, the antics, and everything else, and all the words? You know what, I, I have a good team behind me, and I know it. That helps me maintain focus in training camp. Anything that comes out from anyone else, it doesn't matter. As long as my team is on track, which they have, Mike McCullen, my father Jose Vargas, David Levy, Jessica Vargas, uh, everyone, my nutritionist that helped me make weight. Um, they all were on board. We were only on one path, which is positive going forward. And because of that, you can't really base yourself on any negativity. You can't put any thought to it or mind to it. And we just stayed focused, so it didn't bother me at all. Well, we wish you luck. Go get some tea. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> A.B., you don't want me to touch your back? Don't touch me. I won't touch you. We know that your pants weigh, uh, your underpants weigh two ounces. Now y'all know. Now we all know. The beard was next if you didn't make weight, you know. <laughs> you got jokes today, all right, all right. You got jokes today, Jim Blue. Okay. All right, let's get serious. Um, you have a newfound focus. You have a new trainer. You had a great camp. Explain how that focus is going to manifest itself in the ring. Um, we had a hell of a camp. You know, uh, it's very different. It's my first time doing a full camp for, for one of my fights with Uncle Kev is what I call him. Well, Coach Ken Kevin Cunningham, what you know him as. And, um, you know, uh, it, was, it was very militant, but uh, we got through it. Is there a sense of urgency that maybe wasn't there in the past or is more urgency this time than in the past? It was just, it was always there. It's just, you know, um, something that had to be brought back out of Adrian Bronner. And um, tomorrow night, you know, uh, I will be victorious and um, I'm putting on a great show. We look forward to it. Good luck. All right, thanks. Thanks. 